What's up squash players? It's Pierre and today we're going to review the Raya squash goggles. Raya Model 2 is what it's called. This company was started by Chris Hansen, a former US national champ and a business partner whose name I don't know. <laughs> but they've been doing this for a while. They launched a f their first model for like pickleball and tennis players and Chris wore it for on the squash court. And the Model 2 is their first model for squash players specifically and I am wearing it. This is a premium priced product. This was $170 at RayaEyewear.com. I've been using it for a few weeks. It has become my go-to goggles and I will explain some of the things that I like about them and how they're different from my second favorite goggles, the Prince Pro Light 2. Also in white, just so you don't get, just so you get a, a fair comparison color wise. All right. So a few details about these goggles. The temples, um, all right, let's start with the, uh, the lenses. Let's start with the lenses. Crystal clear lenses. And something that I wouldn't have really, I mean, it sounds silly, like, but I wouldn't have really thought to think about how clear the lenses are when doing a review of goggles. Um, if I compare these, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell you know, from the camera, but um, we're gonna give you a view through the Rias. Even though I'm blurry, trust me, it's clear. The Prince goggles, in comparison, are quite good. It's difficult to, uh, if you were to just put these on or put those on, I think you would both, you know, as long as they're clean, you'd go, oh, I, I can't tell the difference. But as I switch back and forth, I can see some slight distortions in these, just like little kind of ghosts, I guess you could say. Um, it's not, especially if you're used to goggles, it's probably not going to affect your squash, but it's one of those things that the premium price is in this lens, which is very distortion free. I can almost see no kind of little shadows in the lens sitting in this room. Um, you know, with light, com this has light coming in from different directions and it's not a squash court, but I can, I can definitely, you know, in this, in this scenario, I can definitely tell a difference between the two. Um, what else can I tell you? The Raya has, whoa, a very comfortable um, nose piece. So it is, it's got like a soft plastic nose. I mean, it's, it's semi, semi soft, uh, comfortable. And it's also got a, a piece here that's soft. So your, your face isn't going directly into kind of like the frame piece. It's, it's all uh, cushioned, I guess, up to your, you know, you can push it up against your, um, whatever this is, temple, the center of your eyes here, and feel that that's like a cushioned piece compared to um, your Prince goggles and all other squash goggles, really, that tend to have, they just have your regular um, kind of uh, clear, clear cushioned nose pieces here on the sides um, that can come, they're just, uh, just the nose piece, but nothing here, like kind of where your um, forehead touches into. So bottom line, comfortable nose piece. Second, we've got, uh, or third, maybe, we've got the um, temples here. So these are adjustable in that they bend in or out left to right they do not go as far as i can tell they don't go up and down at all so this will you can kind of adjust how much it's gripping the sides of your um the sides of your head to kind of customize that a little bit that compares to the prints with basically it has flexibility in terms of the springiness of it but uh it doesn't necessarily retain the new location that you bend it to. The, the Prince does have temples that adjust in and out like this. Er, can't do it on camera. Um, you can make them shorter for, if you have a, a shorter face and you cannot do that with the Raya goggles, although they both fit me um, just fine. I find that the Raya's are more comfortable on the side of my head, just kind of perfectly holding in place 
uh, comfortably. Whereas the prints, these are brand new, so they haven't been broken in at all. But it just feels like it's kind of pushing into the side of my head uh, more. And it's not as comfortable. From a fog perspective, these have been absolutely fog free. They don't have any sort of, um, like the prints have these vent holes at the top of the glass. Can you see that? Somehow I can show it to you. Um, they have these little vent holes at the top of the goggles. You really can't see it on a uh, uh, vent hole here and here to kind of let some steam out as it were. The, the Rias do not have that, um, but they did not fog up at all and I am prone to fogging. So I can tell you that they, um, they were a success from, from that standpoint. The last thing I want to show you or explain is that, so you can see that these temples go straight out as opposed to your typical goggle, squash goggles that, that I've always seen have this sort of downward temple. And I've been used to that. And so I'm going to, I'm a person who uses a sweatband. So let's say I got that on. This normally goes down underneath the sweatband. So this is what I was used to. And the, the biggest adjustment for me with the Raya's was putting this on at first, I would normally have goggles on, sweatband over top, but then like the band is sort of applying uh, pressure to the, uh, the temples and like changing the orientation of the goggles as I'm playing or as I adjust my, my headband. It's a simple fix, but it took me a minute to figure out what was going on. You just gotta go you got to put headband on first and then go rise outside. And now, um, now it's completely stable from a branding perspective. I think they've done a really, really great job. I mean, the, everything to, from the kind of marketing to the, the logo of this product, they've got the kind of, uh, you get, it comes with a case to keep your, your prized possession secure, including a tiny little pouch where I keep the, um, uh, where I keep the lens cloth in here and it's got a foam thingy here so you can you can pop them in there the lenses are removable so if you want to you can buy like let's say you're a pickleball player also you can buy a sunglass type uh, lenses and there's extra slots in here for you to put your lenses if you want to use them outdoors you can um you can you can do that overall 100 percent my go-to goggles right now uh the you know but there are big you know I, I purchased this to review for you guys and to check them out and see what chris was up to um you know these these prince ones are 30 dollars, so they're you know when you do it when you when you buy the Raya's, you're buying a uh, like everything premium from the branding on down to the look and onto the comfort and clarity of the glass. You know, it's a big price difference, but they're really excellent. Best ones, um, best ones that I've tried. So check them out. Uh, you can find them at RayaEyewear.com or on Squash Source at the link below uh, this video and I hope that was helpful. Oh, there are also, I forgot to mention, the official eyewear of US Squash now. That's right, they just inked a deal with US Squash, and so you'll probably see them mentioned in uh, you know, various, if you're, if you're in the US Squash universe, you'll probably see them uh, mentioned uh, in their kind of emails and whatnot and on their site. So check it out, Raya Eyewear. See you next time, bye. What's up, you guys? Today. I have a pair of goggles from RIA, or is it Raya? I think it's RIA Eyewear, the new official eyewear of US Squash, started by a former Squash pro, Chris Hansen, and his business partner, whose name I can't remember. I bought myself a pair, they're $170, as opposed to the $30 you normally see for, um, let's just say, um, my current goggles, which are a pair of Prince goggles, but I couldn't resist. Because who doesn't want a badass pair of squash goggles? So today, we're going to do a little unboxing of the RIA. Because I got a match today. And I got to be honest, my prince is broke. 
the other day if you saw that and my replacement goggles have been a little foggy a little foggy and a little sweaty they're they're not working well for me so I'm looking forward to unboxing the RIA and testing it out for you we've got ourselves some lens wipes 10 lens wipes and here's the packaging. I knew it was going to be nice because, you know, premium pricing and all that's got to be good. Performance engineered eyewear. Yeah, that's right. Okay, here we go. Let's see what they look like. I got a tip that these were pretty nice. No fogging. And that's what I really need in my life right now. So, let's see what we got in here. Oh, that's so cute. Officially pack it. Uh... Carefully packaged for Pierre B. Designed in NYC. Handmade in Italy. Let's go. You get a little um, case. That's kind of be where the goggles are. We've got some information. Which I probably will read. And we've got a little... Um, oh, it's so nice. Like I might even keep the box. It, it snaps shut. Delightful. Um, we've got a tennis player. <laughs> But these are squash goggles. They actually have, um, they actually have, they started doing pickleball and tennis stuff, so outdoor goggles, and this new version is their squash goggles. Um, I think that might be Chris's sister there. Uh, here's, here's our founder. A U.S. national champ, and, and, uh, all around squash entrepreneur, and here we go. Here we go. Here's our new guys. We got our own case with a little, um, it's got some space for extra lenses, which I did not buy. Um, but a nice cushioned case here. And we've got a little protection around the temples here to keep it nice and uh, unscratched. All right, here they are. Here they are. I got the white color. There's a few, I kind of like my goggles to be white so let's see let's see how I look oh yeah very light very light I almost was worried they didn't put them in the, in the thing because the entire weight of this was like very very lightweight we've got ourselves a okay a little pouch if you want to go with the more kind of conventional route with your with your goggle holding and um, oh look it's got a story on it just like Warby Parker hmm oh you, okay, I'm going to read this to you. You might have wondered where the name RAA comes from. You might have pronounced it Rhea. It's okay, we forgive you. But no, we didn't take our name from a long, narrow inlet of river. What? Uh, it's an acronym for Regina Rex in Atrium. I guess that's Latin. Which translates from Latin to King Queen of the Court. Ha, ha, I get it, I get it. Okay, it's a little, you know... Uh, you know, own the court, be a king, be a queen, it says. So we're going to, um, we're going to try them out today. I have an important match and we're going to wear them for the first time and let you know how it goes. I'll be back. Bye.